in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Prophetic instructions are powerful because contained within them, as foolish as they may sound, is the power of God. I want you to please stand. Ushers, I want you to start bringing out the people who the power of God rests upon. I'm ministering deliverance now. What is deliverance? Separating you from the spirits that plague you separating you from the conditions also not just spirits usually i will ask you to shout and you will shout but god is telling me be still and know this is why i said just stand and keep quiet bring them out you see the way god works is very mysterious sometimes it may not make sense yes there are individuals and families right now. It's the fire of the spirit fishing out families whose destinies have been tied down. Yokes, curses, altars. Please bring them out. No, you will not be able to stand it. You don't know what grace you are under. Please bring them as quick as you can. All the overflows outside. Hmm. These things happen so that you will fear God in a way that God is not a man. If God can say a thing like this and do it, then you will believe every prophetic word he brings on you. Please help the ushers. If they are limited, anyone close to them, let's just save time. There's a reason why I ask that you bring the people out. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. You've done the prayer, now I'm praying for you. Mm. Yokes altars i'm seeing fire like like smoke rising rising from things that look like stones the lord is showing me a dark shadow shadow that has rested on families some for decades and the Lord is saying, this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families. And the Lord is lifting it right now. He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. <laughs> lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay, the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. Bring them out. Da ta ta
Hallelujah. I want to pray very quickly. You are still bringing a few more people out now. I'm seeing something tied around the stomachs of people and I'm wondering what is this is what what the meaning of this is and the Spirit of God is telling me that this is enchantment this is witchcraft over many it came through dreams and it has tied down many this thing started from your dream and then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead now hear me every family under any cause cause of untimely death cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough now you are going to shout Jesus with that one loud shout those altars must give way now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be released be released be released be released, be released. Be released. your family be released your business be released your destiny be released everything that concerns you hallelujah what has buried the name of your family the statement Ichabod that it cannot even be heard again a family that was once great known for greatness but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny I'm talking to three people by the Spirit in the name of Jesus right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare may that veil may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now Every month, you must treat sickness, mysterious sicknesses, eating up your finances, eating up your energy, your vitality. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now. Cancelled now. The Lord is showing me a woman You've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa. I don't know if there's such a person. I've prayed for a number of people with those cases, but the Lord is speaking to me about one. You've not been able to go and meet your husband. You are legally married, but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again, and this has caused a lot of tension in your home. Wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name that is above all names we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living god that this time around may favor speak for you may favor speak for you may favor speak for you i'm seeing someone here your brother currently has been kidnapped your brother, you are aware, he's been kidnapped. You are trusting God for his release. I don't know if that person is in this place, else I'm going to speak. Your brother, this is what God shows me in a vision, is part of those that were kidnapped until now. He's not been released. In the name of Jesus, I use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men, by the power that raised Christ from the dead this week, not next week, this week. In the name that is above all names, we declare their release now. We declare their release now. We declare their release now. For everyone who is in front here brought by the Spirit of God, I decree and declare 
every spirit that has held you down God brought you by himself right now be released right now be released I decree and declare that as you rise you step into a range a, a level of strange testimonies strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ amen return back to your seat rejoicing how many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs just lift your hands and put it down let me see if you don't believe keep your hand down you are trusting God that God between now and March that God can open a stranger let me see your hands I want to pray for you the prophetic is very powerful and that includes those from several nations you've heard testimonies you can stand for your brother you can stand for your son you can stand for your daughter you can stand for your spouse I decree and declare I don't know who is trusting God for a job for you for your family or a change of job because some of you what you are doing is not really a job anything that steals your spiritual life destroys your health causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God therefore I decree between now and the next one month in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west the north to the south Nigeria and beyond may God give you a strange testimony may my God give you a strange testimony Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. The overflow outside. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm praying for everybody. Everybody can tap. But I just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. Outside. Media, if you can help me. Let me speak over the overflow outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I don't know why God is asking me to speak Perhaps it is to connect with you to let you know that distance is no barrier. And it doesn't matter up basement, all the other overflows, you can connect by faith. But I'm speaking particularly to those outside. Lift your hands, those outside, I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe by the faith of the Son of the Living God that what God will do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination. Father, in the name that is above all names. I pray for my people outside. Lift your hands and believe. This is not entertainment. Believe. Believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He said, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. Everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks, whatever it is, by all godly means, I declare, may it happen for you. Everything that will make you celebrate. Ah, Sarah said, all who hear this will rejoice with me. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Between now and the next two weeks, those outside, but it applies to everybody. Whatever God must do to make you laugh, I declare, may it happen speedily. Speedily. If it's a job, may it happen speedily. If it's your visa, may it happen speedily. If it's your house, may it happen speedily. The Bible says, despise not prophesyings. Despise not prophesyings. Still keep them, I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to them. Why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them? I'm speaking to those outside. Sometimes God moves like this to comfort us. To help us see and know that distance is no barrier. Media, are you helping me? In the name that is above all names. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. That can come upon a man's head. That can come upon a man's hand. That can come upon his feet. And rewrite his story. I stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of Jesus listen I tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to God I know what favor is I know how it works I have seen what the favor of God can do this ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man it is such as I have 
in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling moving from pillar to post and things are not working in ministry in finances I pray for you receive the oil of favor 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 everyone shout this after me say father every curse every enchantment every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now open your mouth in one minute and pray every enchantment every curse orchestrated against my life against my advancement against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now everyone please listen to me thank you for your patience and your endurance but I want to show you something every demonic oppression upon the saints depends on a certain kind of belief system no matter what kind of spirit is sent to you that spirit is helpless until a certain belief system is formed in you it is the union of that spirit and your belief system that equals your tragedy did you hear what i said satan is as powerful in your life as the limitation of your belief system so the primary assignment of spirit is not to oppress is to first manipulate your understanding or build a garrison around your wrong belief system so that regardless what truth comes for your liberation you do not sustain the intelligence to understand it there is no spirit that is not at the mercy of your belief system even God as mighty as he is is limited by your belief system he said let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus he says they limited him in the wilderness they limited the Holy One in the wilderness how do you limit the limitless God I want to show you something powerful send any kind of spirit spirit of death spirit of delay spirit of retrogression untimely death poverty all those spirits will come and mark time at the gate of your mind there is a certain mental component that empowers their entry or keeps them forever did you hear what i said so the bible says no weapon fashioned i used to think the weapons are the arrows that fly by day these weapons are mindsets they are fashioned based on your weaknesses so satan brings your background brings your failure brings poor or ill mentorship and uses it to fashion a weapon that weapon becomes the access point for spirits so no matter the kind of deliverance you go through once that software that faulty thinking is still there that deliverance session was only a waste of time because all he needs to do is to touch any triggers in your life and it will make you open the door through your belief system anger jealousy lust pain wrong memory fear all of them are triggers and any one of them can bring you back to that mold and the spirit will find its way again so complete deliverance it's not just casting out demon spirits. Are we together? But a reorientation through the teaching ministry that now gives you a superior understanding, a mindset that is always superior. That way, you close the door permanently over those spirits. In fact, 
in order of spiritual priority i rather teach you the truth that to minister deliverance for you because once that mindset is altered the spirit itself becomes unconducive the bible says when spirits leave men they go through deserts and from the desert there was nobody to cast them by themselves they left the desert and came back to the man light how forcible are right words they can force spirits out and force prophecies in this will be your final prayer are you ready to pray once you pray i'll just speak over this um make sure immediately we're done praying or whilst we're praying please bring out your prayer request everybody and for those who have not written your prayer request let me give you a minute we write prayer requests here as an act of faith if you care please write maybe sit for a moment i'll allow you to pray while you are sitting so you can write That you are sitting doesn't mean you will not pray you will pray so just it's not a license men ought always to pray let me give you a minute to write write because everything you're writing will come to pass speedily hallelujah speedily hmm. A lady is going to start laughing by the spirit. It's not careless laughing. The laughing is a symbol of joy and victory that has come to her family. It's a holy laughter. It's not something that is mechanical. It's by the spirit. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous i just saw this in the spirit and i'm speaking it unto that person and unto that family that laughter that has begun all through this year it will not cease in the name of jesus are you writing please write nobody reads your prayer request so you are liberty to write it's, it's, it's an act of your faith releasing it those outside all the overflows please write connecting online Go ahead and write. You can send it. We're about to pray. God answers prayer. He does. Does. He does not just hear prayer, but he answers. Call upon me, he says, and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Let me give you the final prayer. We're going to be praying and challenging according to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 NIV. 2 Corinthians 10 for NIV. We're challenging by the light of God's word every faulty belief system, every wrong way of thinking that is empowering failure, defeat, attacks, delay, limitations over our lives. This will be our final prayer point in this miracle service. NIV says the weapon we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, it says they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Verse 5 says we demolish arguments, every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought. Every what? We take captive every, you can take thoughts to captivity and bring them or make it to the obedience of Christ. You're going to pray now whilst you're seated. Shout this loud, shout this clear. Whilst you're doing that, you will multitask by passing your prayer request. You may pass it to the right person, the extreme right or extreme left. So it makes it easy for the ushers. You'll see them picking up the request. Are you ready? Go ahead and pray. Say, Father. I challenge come on shout like a believer say father I challenge by the light of God's word every faulty belief system every wrong way of thinking that is empowering failure empowering defeat empowering attacks empowering delay 
empowering limitations over my life and destiny. I bring it to captivity now. Go ahead and pray. Every limitation by the light of God's word. Someone pray. Someone pray. 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 By the light of God's word, every thought, every mindset, mindset that came from the past, mindset that came from wrong mentorship, mindset that came from your previous failures, mindset that came from culture, mindset that came from your limitations, whatsoever they may be, sponsoring failure, sponsoring defeat, sponsoring attacks, delays, limitations, in life and destiny I bring them to captivity by the light of God's word hallelujah hallelujah Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 says and I will give you pastors or shepherds after my heart according to my heart it says they shall feed you why do they need to feed you what are they feeding exactly? Number one, they are feeding your spirit. Number two, they are feeding your mind. What does it mean to feed your mind? To use the word of God, word applicable principles to begin to rewrite on the software of your mind, reprogramming your understanding, giving you a mindset that is pro-victory, pro-Christ, pro-destiny, pro-prosperity, pro-authority. Are we together? This is the assignment of the teaching priest. So you can come as you are, but you must submit yourself, not just to the miracle working power, you must submit yourself. Everything in your life eventually reflects your mindset. Remember when I'm teaching on mindsets, I teach you that sometimes many of us give loved ones our clothes, maybe used clothes, you can give them as a gift. How many of you see that you may have worn a white cloth, maybe a white shirt, white trouser for a few years and it's still looking new because of your mindset. You give that to some cousin or somebody somewhere with a low level thinking. After one month, you look at that same shirt you've used for years and you want to run away. Do you know what has happened? The mindset was transferred to that cloth. Carry a CEO in his office. I have taught you this. Put him at the gate of the company and carry with all due respect many of the, especially the security that are ill-trained, just there to serve basically. Reverse them and put them to sit on the seat of the manager for one week. The first thing that will happen is that the man will most likely destroy that office because of careless use. He will steal everything there and tear every paper, use it for whatever, finish every food, every refreshment in the fridge, and then people will stop coming to the office there because the CEO at the gate will start inventing an easier system. He will first invent a system that shields him from heat and then his cautiousness, that sense of courtesy will make all who are coming to look for the man in the office to stop at the gate there because their problems will be stopped at the gate. I'm saying that to tell you that what distinguishes people essentially is not just the clothes they wear, it's not just their communication, it's their mindset. An Ambroba is a mindset. A man of God is a mindset. Did you hear what I said? A failure is a mindset. A CEO is a mindset. You don't necessarily call a body a CEO. When that body dies and falls to the ground, you don't call it a CEO. It is the mindset you are calling an apostle. It's the mindset you are calling a billionaire. It's the mindset you are calling a millionaire. It's the mindset you are calling a failure. So when God gives you a new name, the new name comes with a new mindset. You see that now? For you cannot put new wine in old wine skin. The problem is not the wine. The problem is the wine skin carrying it. There are times that God does not want to manage your mindset. He wants to take it away from you totally and bring something new. I'm saying this to some of us because your blessing tonight for many of us is beyond the miracles and all that you have received. The prophetic words that has come upon you as powerful as they are. It's important for you to know that God is calling you to a journey of radical transformation. 
editing by the spirit methodically line upon line precept upon precept it's time for you to re-examine the entire span of your belief system it doesn't matter how long you've held on to them if they have not sustained the ability to produce Christ and his glory through your life it's time for you to sustain the courage to look at them and begin to edit them by the spirit and this is our assignment to guide and midwife that process of transformation for you according to the measure of grace that we've been given so that you don't just shout amen and then every blessing that wants to rest upon you the requisite mindset your hand in the spirit is your mindset did you hear what i said your hand in the spirit is your mindset if i bring out one million naira and i say take you will not take it with your feet you will not take it with your head you may bow your head to say thank you but it's with your hand you will receive it in the realm of the spirit the agency for receiving is your mindset so if god says take and your mindset is not prepared to receive it the blessing will stay as a prophetic reality and never manifest in your life it matters not just that you receive prophecy it matters that you endure sound doctrine to the end that your understanding be thoroughly furnished there is a kind of mindset the anointing is looking for. There is a kind of mindset favor is looking for. Are we still together? There is a kind of mindset speed is looking for. There is a kind of mindset you are trusting God to move from say 1,000 membership to 10,000 to 20,000. It doesn't just come because of you, your age, your size. No, there is a mindset that can host that level of glory. The Bible says there are many stars and that even among the stars, one differeth from another in glory God wants to do much in the lives of many of us here I perceive but there is still a faulty understanding our belief systems our ignorance as to knowing the ways of God and how the systems of the kingdom operate that is the reason why we are here every time we grant access to our teachings the reason why we do these things is so that you will be able to receive the word of God. Now, having said this, let me use the opportunity and give two very strong warnings. It just came to my spirit. I want you to listen. Koinonia Global, Body of Christ. Um, focus on me now for the next one minute. Two things that just came to my spirit to say very strongly. Number one, I'm announcing officially to you all that you must beware of scammers. Beware of fraudulent people, especially those on the internet. As a person, I'm not on any social media platform. Are we together? No, I'm not. So if you've been interacting with any Joshua Selman online, no matter how kind he sounds, that is a scammer. Number two, there is no orphanage project we are running somewhere. I think that's the popular deception. Many of you have lost maybe tens, hundreds, perhaps thousands of dollars to this network of scammers online who parade to be Joshua Selman. I'm saying it officially. There is no, we are a responsible ministry. Thank you, my dear media people. I'm not on any social media platform, number one. Number two, it will be foolish, number one. I don't even have that time. The person who has the time to be talking to you all the time, you see, that must be a foolish Joshua Selman. <laughs> Are we together? This is the wise one. <laughs> there was a Jesus in the Bible called bad Jesus. A wrong and foolish one. So you need to know how to be wise. The Bible says the word of the Lord is perfect. The laws of the Lord is perfect. Reviving the soul then it also makes men wise. So some of you have become victims to these scammers. If you are currently in any discussion with anybody, and some of them are so bold, sometimes they even come to the official page. While a service is going on like this, they just say, I am this one. And because you see, people are desperate for results. And so they just believe, they first start with a semblance of compassion. They try to talk to you and say, it looks like you've been depressed. You say, it's true, are you are crying. And then the next thing they say, call this number. And then it all ends with giving money. Sometimes they may even claim to pray genuinely. It is a lie. I hear that there are people who have even gone to the extent of cutting my pictures to, you know, 
put in a lot of things and make it look you you should know what we stand for right social media is a noisy place everybody has a right to say anything it's important for you with understanding to be able to know what we can do and what we cannot do so i'm saying this officially this is very important and probably media you may want to crop out part of this if uh, and and then put it online and let people know if you are dealing with any joshua selman particularly anybody asking you to bring money or bring this or bring whatever especially for an international family you are dealing with liars and scammers this is very important hallelujah desist from that disconnect from them every communication from this ministry we're improving all our communication channels to make sure that we're effective and responsible enough but we have the details at the end of the service we'll make sure the official details every major department that corresponds with a community they have a line that you can reach and we're replicating this for all our other expressions this is very important please bring the request while i'm making this announcement and then number two the second uh, very important announcement uh, thank you jesus this really skipped my spirit i think i would have been sad if i didn't have this now this is particularly for youtubers and all who use my content and my teachings it's important for you to know that we give unreserved access to use these contents based on the understanding that everyone who uses them desires number one to preach jesus and desires to be an extension of this spiritual value that we're sending to the nations let me make that very clear and there are many who have held on to that conviction thankfully and you would notice number one i have never i don't even know those people most of them that you know there are people who today through the platform of the social media and these teachings god has prospered them and to my joy i am happy knowing that whilst they are serving the purposes of jesus god is blessing them i'm very delighted knowing that but i need to say this every abuse of content there are many people and the social media is unfortunately a very crazy place people know that every time they drop my picture or content anywhere it doesn't matter what they are saying it seems to command the attention of people and it's unfortunate the abuses that have happened all over the internet you see that now people crop out messages and twist them into all kinds of things they become objects of division objects of confusion and all kinds of things and um, we are a responsible ministry and i owe it to you to tell you this particularly for those anyone at all with no restraint with giving people access you know to be able to let people reach these teachings because no matter what how much i teach there's a limit to which i can get the people to listen to and so as many who can help to push these things it's a welcome development provided their intent is to help people find jesus find meaning and find purpose for those who are obsessed with coining every kind of thing by the time your desire to drive traffic for the purpose of profit becomes greater than or the only motivation please take away my content from your nonsense hallelujah we are responsible people who love jesus but there are all kinds of abuses and, and as for me it's, it's not a concern for me but for the innocent sincere people who sometimes they see your pictures they see your videos and they are rushing there to find jesus to find life and here are people who they don't mind putting anything all they want is traffic so that they receive payments from youtube if you hurt people you tell lies you manipulate so that you have the money the bible says the cause of the lord is in the house of the wicked are we together now yes so you must respect the effort the energy the discipline the consecration the spirituality that brings these teachings and i want to thank many of you who have become partners in the spirit and in progress and through your various platforms you've helped people to know jesus to know what god is doing may god bless you and lift you in jesus name and i'm happy that god is prospering you while you are doing it at least it's, it's better than stealing it's better than all kinds of things there are people today who have built houses through these contents podcast i am happy 
knowing that from what God has given us, we are not only blessing people spiritually, but people are finding even financial meaning to their lives. But I'm putting a very strong warning and a strong disclaimer. Abuses must stop. Hallelujah. If you're doing your thing online, you can do your thing, but take away Koinonia and his content from your madness. Don't use our content as an object to cause division in the body of Christ, frustrate the effort of believers to grow, and so on and so forth. It is against our values and it's against what we stand for. Hallelujah. So it's very important. If you are pro-Jesus, if you are pro-healing, if you are pro-destiny, you are a decent person seeking to help people find meaning with their lives. And God helps you to use your social media platform. Then may God bless you. You're welcome. Let the teachings through you bless others. And through it, bless you and lift you. It's with all joy. But make sure that you do not become a, an agent of anarchy, confusion, causing trouble and confusion, especially to younger believers who are growing. It is unfortunate how the kind of nonsense that the social media sometimes and people's desperation for a name for fame and they do all sorts of things so let this stop we're in a serious business of letting the nation see jesus and all those who have access to this content you must promote them responsibly and make sure that at the end of it people find jesus don't twist messages pick one part put another part to speak a lot of things and 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 uh, please be warned don't do that the cause of the lord is in the house of the wicked hallelujah and when we give disclaimers like this that is not all we can do we are responsible people who love the body and um but i want you to know that we have enough influence to produce any effect that needs to be produced so please be warned um silence and silence and maturity should not be mistaken for weakness hallelujah Great people do not tear down others. Great people are builders. Those who tear down are weak, insecure people who are trying to find meaning for their lives. The cure is to find meaning for your life through the word and in destiny. Okay? So I needed to say this. This is very important. I think that's a good announcement um, to have made. Praise God. Lay your hands whilst you are seated. Our time is fast spent. Let me speak over those who need healing. Our time is gone, but I have to do this. We may not take testimonies tonight, but lay your hands. I want to pray for you. The stage is always yours every week. You can register for your testimonies. Those online, everyone, please lay your hands. You're standing in for someone. In the next one minute, I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, the one who died and resurrected in power and glory. Thank you for the power to heal, the power to bring life even to the sick. You gave us this noble instruction to heal the sick while we preach the kingdom. And Lord, in honor and obedience to that call, I stretch my hands right now over your people spread across this auditorium and its environs outside the many who are following online and the many who will hear this i'm praying in the name of jesus that every spirit that is responsible for infirmity every spirit responsible for sickness diseases of any and all kinds by the power that raised christ from the dead i cause the operation of those spirits from your body this moment in the name of Jesus. Right now I stretch my hands, be healed. Shout a believing amen. amen. Headaches be healed right now. Amen. Eye conditions be healed right now. Amen. Heart conditions be healed right now. Amen. Blood conditions be healed right now. Amen. Bone conditions be healed right now. Organ failures, let there be a brand new, a reproduction of new organs in the name of Jesus. Respiratory problems be healed now, tumors and cancers be cursed now, fibroids, we curse you now, gastrointestinal problems be healed now. Reproductory problems be healed now. Urinary problems be healed now. 
respiratory problems be healed now digestive problems be healed now neurological problems be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ back pain be healed lumbar spondylosis be healed joint pains be healed we change genotypes right now from SS to AA from AS to AA in the name of Jesus Christ ear conditions be healed now every prolonged pain in your body be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not anyone appointed to death by sickness those following from hospitals clinics everywhere be healed right now I stretch my hands and I declare let the healing power of Jesus from this ground through the airwaves let it flow to you right now I speak to someone you shall not die your health will not deteriorate it is cancer that will die it is HIV that will die it is tuberculosis that will die it is pile that will die in the name of Jesus every mental health situation right here in Nigeria across Europe America Canada Asia be healed right now autism be healed right now if you are here you came with a wheelchair you came with a crutch or some walking aid for your feet your hands I declare be healed right now for every and any infirmity here at this miracle service we pronounce you healed we pronounce you whole we pronounce you perfected in the name of Jesus you will search for that pain and not find it again you will search for that infirmity and not find it again I declare restoration to your health now rise up please stretch your hands towards this request stretch your hands please towards this request are there any requests yet to come please stretch your hands and begin to make faith declarations in one minute these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever someone full of faith is praying in the name of Jesus I'm going to bow my knees in one minute and lay my hands over these requests as a point of contact while you pray make faith declarations that in the name of Jesus Christ this comes to an end every oppression go ahead In name of Jesus I decree and declare over you bowing my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that every testimony that needs to come out from this request beginning from tonight may you begin to hear them Amen. beginning from tonight may you begin to receive them Amen. every human agent who must partner with prophecy to make for the manifestation of this request I decree and declare may the Lord raise them and bring them to you every death sentence here represented is cancelled every issue of debt financial issues plaguing people it comes to an end permanently whatever it is that you've written here as an expectation 
that is consistent with the will of God. I release my faith with you even on this altar and I declare return rejoicing with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prophetically, I stand upon this request and I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. No more forever. No more forever. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to lift your hands as I speak over you. Prophecy is the final or the second to the last atmosphere that is created for reception. Father, I decree and declare over your people, shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever. Comes to an end forever. I decree and declare, wherever the helpers of your destiny are, whether they are in Abuja, in Lagos, in the north, the south, east, west, Europe, America, far west, wherever they are, between now and the end of the month, the month is not ended yet, I gravitate them towards your destiny. Every long-standing issue, you have prayed, you have fasted, it has refused to change. I release my faith with you and I declare this is the season of change for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. A new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Everywhere your finance is for this season. Can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God. The testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receive strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting may it bring you profiting may it bring you profiting May it bring you profit in. What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America, blessed in UK, all over Europe, all over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds giving standing with us i just felt stirred in my heart to do that people give the things that you see us do 
it is based on the givings the faithful givings of God's people and I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given not just here in Nigeria but across the globe UK America Canada people have given for our meetings coming people have given even in the house people have sown into my life as a man of God I stretch my hands God is not a fraudster God is not a scammer he doesn't play games with people in the name that is above all names you have sown to this ground it is good ground therefore receive a hundredfold harvest therefore receive a hundredfold harvest a harvest of prosperity a harvest of wisdom a harvest of helpers a harvest of joy a harvest of help in the name of Jesus may you never do anything alone in your life God will raise people to stand with you to stand by you to stand for you in the name of Jesus put her to shame may God raise help us for you now let me speak over your spiritual life everything attacking your prayer life attacking your word study life attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things it dies permanently right now may your prayer life be fanned back to flames may your word study life be fanned back to flames may your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames may your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames in the name of Jesus Christ listen I call you Beulah and Hephzibah Beulah and Hephzibah you are like a well watered garden I call you a wealthy place an oasis springing possibilities in the name of Jesus you will not beg and you will not borrow yet you will not lack in the name of Jesus these hands that are lifted remain lifted forever they will not go down the Lord is your shepherd he will guide you in paths of righteousness he restores your soul in the name of Jesus your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny and I pray for you the kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week may God bring this as a witness to your life wave your hands to Jesus give him all the praise wave your hands to the King of Kings hallelujah amen and amen now I forgot to do this but let me do this I'm even yet to meet with them I especially want to appreciate our team they are part of the team organizing our conferences, some from UK, some from America. Just wave your hands in front here. Some of them arrived today. Give them a big God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Um, they are part of the team organizing uh, Sound of Revival conference. I want to make an altar call right now. Please, I want you to just be patient for a minute. For as long as I live and God gives me this opportunity, I will never cease to give one person an opportunity to come to Jesus. Because God desires that all men be saved and then to come to the saving knowledge of the truth. You are in this place and all through this meeting, the spirit of the living God began to nudge in your spirit that you need Jesus. Wherever you are, I want you to leave your seat and I'm going to ask you to come and stand here. Whether you are rededicating your life to Jesus or you are saying, Apostle, sincerely hearing you speak, the Spirit of God began to convict me. And I can say with all certainty that I need Jesus. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. Wherever you are, boldly leave your seat and come and stand right before me here. Let's honor them as they come. There has to be someone. 
who loves Jesus enough to heed to this call. If you are coming, come. Don't wait for anyone to come before you. Pick your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with and come to Jesus. All the overflows, you can move to your LED screens. Those outside do same. Those who are connecting from across the globe, here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. Koinonia, keep clapping as they come. Every one of these beautiful people is their price is the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary's tree. If you're coming, come quickly. You're still thinking about it. Here is a chance to make up your mind. Win that war once and for all. Apostle, I perceive that I'm a good person. I can't remember making any decision for Jesus, but I cannot say I'm a bad person. Your righteousness is unable to save you. This business of salvation is exclusively based on the finished work of the Son of the Living God. So you come. Come. You want to have the assurance of salvation? Join them. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Come bless me now, my Savior. I come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this bold declaration. Thank you for making Jesus Lord of your life. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and please say this after me. Say it sincerely from your heart unto Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. If you're joining them, please come quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I declare that I love you with all my heart. I declare that you are the son of the living God. I declare that you are my savior, you are my Lord, and you are my king. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive your life into my spirit, and I declare that I'm a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. The power to live a victorious life is mine forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious people. They have come declaring your lordship over their lives. And I declare based on the authority of God's word that your sins are forgiven. And the power to live a victorious Christian life is imparted upon you. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare you to be the righteousness of God in Christ. And from today, you walk guilt-free in the name of Jesus. You go forward ever and backward never. Go from glory to glory. Experience the grace of God in all its dimensions. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Please let me request that you just move to my right. That will be your left. There are counselors who will have a word with you just for a minute or two, and then you're back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. For one last time, God bless you, my friend. Thank you. Hallelujah. One last time before we wrap up, um, please let's have the bill for next week's meeting. So we're having... A very powerful time next week in this place hallelujah we'll be having shouts of victory it's going to be a time of prophecy and a time of uncensored worship we'll be having my dear friend and brother pastor nathaniel bassi together with terry mccalmond it's going to be a wonderful time of worship invite everyone around this city invite everyone around the world let's connect and experience grace experience worship and let God continue with us even as he started tonight in the name that is above all names and remember the ministry of in gathering is everyone's business we're a global family and make sure that someone knows someone knows someone and gets to know this meeting and what Jesus is doing in the lives of people even through your witness more importantly beyond inviting people make sure that you become an extension of the Jesus that we represent it is clear in this ministry and as we always say that Jesus revealed, Jesus glorified. Let that be clear through your life. Have you been blessed tonight? 
for one last time I want us to please give Professor John Kennedy a big God bless you thank you for spending time with us and then help me appreciate Reverend Edward also all the way from Enugu thank you sincerely and for everyone who has made it to this place the Lord bless you in Jesus name please rise as we close for tonight Lord we thank you for grace thank you for enablement thank you for visitations thank you for impartations our lives will never be the same not after this encounter I pray in the, in the name of Jesus that as you depart from here go in the glory go with the favor of God go with testimonies following you go with good news following you you will return a sign and a wonder to the glory of the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus remember after the grace please decently just join the queue as you are led the protocol those who are collecting the form for the agro training make sure you do that I don't know how many forms are available but once we exhaust 300 we may have to stop I don't know how many forms are there and then those who are writing their names for the support for business you can just work with the instructions that will be given and then you'll be communicated in due course for all those who are filling the form for the agro training make sure you do that and and PR in collaboration with protocol please let them know how to submit the forms so that we ensure we're going to give one week it will last up until Sunday so all those who cannot bring it to DOA in the course of the week you can bring it on Sunday to church and then um, we'll call for it we'll collate everything and then send it to the CSS group and then we'll take it from there have you been blessed tonight let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever amen surely God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord for dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline